Uh, today is one of the days that I am hanging out on Young Street. Um, I tend to do this maybe once or twice a, a week. Uh, at least uh, I tried. I try to as best I can, because you know it is the main section of downtown Toronto. And today's a typical day for me with being on Young Street. I sometimes get swarmed uh, in a good way. Uh, young people that I've known for a while and just wanting to to touch base. But then some I, I make appointments with to uh, the ones that need some pretty serious advocacy or, or ones that are needing some of my help. And I uh, just felt like sharing because um, today I met with this, these two people, they're a couple, I've, I've known one of them longer than the other, and, and just talking about uh, what kind of cycle they're in and, and trying to figure out ways of, well, how can we break some of the cycles around you? And one of the things I talked about was giving them new tools to so they know how to advocate for themselves, you know. Uh, one of the things I, I tell my young people is like, well, I, I, I wanna, I'm gonna be your go-to for this, this next little while, but my goal is that you don't need me anymore. My goal is that uh, I can give you enough tools so that you know how to uh, empower yourself and, well, even that idea of empowering just sounds strange because people have inherent power. It's a deep theological idea that people are made in the image of God. That means right from our onset, right in our DNA, people are powerful. So in the midst of me talking about this and, and giving them new ways of, of saying what's in their hearts, you know, one young lady just kind of starts crying uh, not bad tears but uh, two reasons she she said to me later on like I my struggle so hard I'm white I'm just, there's just so many things and uh, you know I'm, it's tiring and I, I got to tell her like, keep fighting keep fighting you know you'll make it with God you'll make it but then another reason why she was in tears was she she had never felt so heard before. She made me realize something about healing. Healing, helping pe wounded people who are wounded isn't so much just about, well, how can I give them words or, or say something to, to give something to them? But it's actually this... Uh, it's not just about saying something, it's about actually allowing someone to feel heard. And what an incredible first step. And how honored I am that whatever it is that I did or said, this young lady for the first time in years felt heard. The only thing she could muster were tears because tears have a profound way of saying things that are beyond words. And so I just wanted to talk about that. What a holy moment I had. An awkward place, second floor, some food court. <laughs> but God is at work. And God hears us. And I praise God that for that little moment, I got to participate in what God is actually doing because God hears her cries just like many people in the scripture that cried out to God. God hears our cries. So this is my jumbled unfinished thought. Urban Missions, downtown Toronto.